If you have artwork like logos or illustrations that you need to save out for screen use, like websites or social media posts, then you'll want to save your artwork in the PNG file format. In this video, I show you how you can save Val artwork from Illustrator to PNG so that your art can be translucent. And I also go over the difference between PNG 8 and PNG 24. So your artwork will download quickly and look as beautiful as it had in your native application of Adobe Illustrator. Hello, creative. It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand. The PNG file format is an improvement on the GIF, as PNGs have superior compression to allow the image to appear better looking, yet have a lower file size for downloading. Not to mention its ability to support transparency extremely well, in fact, PNGs provide 256 levels of transparency, while GIF images only support completely transparent, not partially opaque pixels. A PNG with an alpha channel can be placed on any color background and maintain its original appearance, even around the edges. There are two different types of PNGs, PNG8 and PNG24. PNG24 can hold up to 16 million colors and is a larger file, while the PNG8 is a smaller file and more similar in nature to the GIF. When you have artwork like a logo that has flat areas of solid color, generally speaking, you don't need to opt in for the larger PNG24 file that tends to double the file size and not give you that much difference visually. Just take a look at the file sizes here. With my Graphics Girl logo set to PNG8, the file size, even with a transparent background, would be approximately 11.7K. Contrast that with the PNG24 that weighs in at double the file size at 22K. So when you look at these two side by side, you're not seeing a marked difference. You know, when it comes to graphics, there are so many file formats. There's AI, PSD, SWF, PNG, PDF, JPEG, GIF, TIFF, whew! How do you keep them all straight? Well, now you don't have to because I've created the ultimate guide to graphic file formats that you can download for free at graphicsgirl.com. This way you'll know when to use each type. Just click the link below. So in order to view your optimization two up, here's what you do. Here I am in my Illustrator file with my logo and I come to File, Export, and here I'm gonna do the Save for Web Legacy. Initially, under Original, it will show you exactly what you have. My original logo weighs in at 594K. When you choose Optimize at the top, it's over here on the right-hand side that you can choose which type of optimization. For example, I could turn off the transparency and still keep it PNG24, but now my background is white. So from the drop-down, you can choose GIF, JPEG, PNG8, or PNG24. So here is where I chose, let's say, PNG8, keeping the transparency. There are other settings that you can change, including reducing the number of colors, but in general, this is what you would get if you ensure that your preview is at 100%. So you could choose Save right down here, or if you wanted to compare two different settings side by side to ensure that you're getting the most bang for your buck, meaning the most pleasing quality at the lowest file size. So you would select the left pane here. You can see my left side here is highlighted blue. By clicking in that window, it will default to the original. So you'll come right up here from the drop down and choose PNG24. On the right hand side now, when I select that, I could choose PNG8. That's where I saw the difference between the file size as well as the quality of the two. You choose the window of the one that you'd like to proceed with 
or you could choose optimize if you're not sure and it will tell you in the lower left hand corner and you choose save. It will save it as a PNG file in the same folder as your Illustrator file. But that was flat planes of color like a logo or illustration. What if your artwork has transparency? Meaning here, if I send this to the back with command or control, shift left bracket, you can see that the area behind it is translucent or you wouldn't be able to see this box. It's with this type of artwork that you'll definitely want to use your PNG 24. I've created the ultimate guide to graphic file formats that you can download for free at graphicsgirl.com. This way you'll know when to use each type. Once again, coming to File, Export, Save for Web Legacy. Here when I choose the two up, that on the left hand side when I click in that pane to turn it with a highlight of blue, that I would want to make sure that this preset moves from original to let's say PNG8. Next, I'll come over here to the right hand side and choose my PNG24. Now take a look at the difference in quality. On the left hand side, there's not enough color information so that the gradient from one color does not blend smoothly into the next. Here, I'll change my percent magnification here to 200. Now you can really see the difference. On the left hand side, you're getting a posterized effect. On the right hand side, not only do the colors smoothly transition from one to the other, but take a look. I can see the checkerboard behind the artwork. It's maintained its opacity. So that means when I put this artwork on top of backgrounds that have other colors, those colors will come through. But once again, just to finish this up, you would choose Save in the lower right hand corner of the Save for Web dialog box. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave some comments below. Okay. And don't forget, head over to graphicsgirl.com to get your free marketing, branding, and design resources. I look forward to seeing you over there and helping you design your brand.